We ought to be asking you the same thing. How'd you get here? Sigma, hand me the map. You three came in through the blue door, right? And which room did you go into? Bee Garden? What about you guys? Well, after we went through the green door, we ended up in the treatment center. So, what's the treatment center? It sounds a lot like the infirmary. You want to have a look? We can go back to any of the rooms we've already visited. So? They're why this is called a treatment center. Those pods can cure a number of illnesses and even repair certain injuries. How about you climb in one of them, Dio? Why? Well, maybe it can fix whatever's wrong with your brain. Uh, hey! You want to start something, lady? Calm down now, son. You don't cool off a bit and I'll have to throw you in one of these pods here. Huh? Why? Aren't you paying attention? They have a cold sleep function. I figured that ought to cool your head up. Yeah? According to some records we found in here, until about eight hours ago, there were three frozen people in these pods. Three people? Who? You mean three of us were? We don't know. All we found was what was in the logs for the pods. No idea. Part of the logs were erased. All that's left is when the cold sleep function turned off. It records them thawing out, getting up. That's it. Then they could be anyone. <laughs> well, anyone but you. Because you don't need a device like this to freeze Alice. Am I wrong? Huh? What are you talking about? You don't need to play dumb. The water in your body isn't normal water. It's something called Ice-9. It freezes at 96.8 degrees. That means all you have to do to put yourself in cold sleep is drop your body temperature below 96.8. No fancy machine needed. Where on earth did you hear that? From Clover. Clover? When we were exploring the lounge during the first round. I see. <laughs> What's so funny? Oh, man. You fell for that one hook, line, and sinker, didn't you? Clover was messing with you. That is, if she even said anything to you at all. It was a lie. A joke? A joke? No, there's no way it was a joke. I'm sure about it. Your body is made of Ice-9. Well, you're mistaken. It's a ridiculous misunderstanding. An urban legend.
They say that the mummy finally thawed, and when it did, it began to move. And ever since then, I've had people say they thought I was her. I mean, really, how could anyone believe something so ridiculous? The existence of this mysterious Alice and of this ice that doesn't melt are just urban legends. It can't just be because your name's Alice. There are tons of Alices. Is it because of your face and how you look? Well, it is true that I am both beautiful and elegant. Can I really be blamed if people think I'm an Egyptian queen? I don't think that's the only reason, though. Someone who made that mistake said something to me once. They claimed they'd seen me before. Of course, I immediately pressed the issue. Do you mean the mummy, Alice? I said. When? Where? Of course, they were at a loss. In fact, I began to feel a little sorry for them. So I told them something. If you're so convinced, then maybe I am actually Alice. But maybe I've lost my memory and can't remember who I am. And so on and so on. I'm still not sure why Clover would tell you something like that, though. Even if she was just messing with you, it seems a little out of left field. You really think she put that much thought into it? She was probably just screwing with him and it was the first thing that came to mind. Maybe she wanted to see if she could get him to believe something completely ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, I could see her doing something like that. Well, I think that's enough idle gossip for now. The cold sleep business is interesting, but I don't think it's terribly useful. We should go see if the other team has returned to the warehouse yet. It looks like another warehouse. It looks like the same warehouse. Hey, look. Three more doors. They're all glowing white. You think... I'd bet on it. Look. They've got the same boxes next to them as the other doors. So the next set of doors are... white? They haven't all been the same color before. Uh, we definitely need to tell the others about this. Oh, thank goodness. You finally returned. I was beginning to get anxious. Yes. It's Quark, you see. He... What? What happened to Quark? He collapsed. It happened so suddenly. We were just searching our room. B what? Please, you must hurry to the infirmary. Clover is looking after him but his condition could change at any moment. You should go. Oh, no.
Quark, come on, kid. Get a hold of yourself. Hey, what are you doing? He's sick, and we don't even know what's wrong with him. What if you make him worse? <sighs> then what am I supposed to do? I have to save him. Save? That seems a little extreme. Maybe he just has anemia or something. No, that's not it. I know him better than any of you. He doesn't have anemia. He's never just collapsed before. Well, then call an ambulance and stop freaking out about it. You son of a bitch. This is serious! The infirmary seems pretty well equipped. There are plenty of diagnostic tools, but... Without a doctor, there's not going to be much we can do with him. Luna? Ah, that's right. I remember Dio saying something. You have a medical license, don't you? Wait, really? Is that true, Luna? Um, well, yes, but... You have to take a look at him, then. Please. Quark needs your help. Okay. I'll see what I can do. I think that machine over there is a medical scanner. It's called an atom. It uses nuclear magnetic resonance imaging to examine and diagnose people. <laughs> Yes. I believe it can. I don't want to rush you, but the sooner the better. Just let us know if you need anything. Of course. Well, I... I know what's wrong with him. I feel so terrible saying this, but Quark is... Quark has an infection. A viral infection. Oh, no. Yes. He's been infected with a virus called Radical Six. Uh, yeah. I told Alice and Tenmyoji about it. Fi and I heard about it from Luna. No. He can't... How could he have gotten infected? That's not possible. There must be something we can do! How can we cure him? Well, Adam says there's an antiviral serum called Excelivir. It's the only way to counteract Radical Six. If we can inject him with some, he should... he should be okay. Where is it? Shouldn't it be in the infirmary somewhere? Yeah, we looked around, but we didn't see anything. I don't trust a damn thing you say. I'm asking Luna. I'm sorry, but... Theo's telling the truth. We didn't find anything. Damn it. What about the other rooms? Sigma, what about you? Did you find anything? Uh, 
What about you, Kay? Was there any medicine in your room? We visited the laboratory. There were a number of chemicals and concoctions there, some of which were medicine, but nothing like what we're searching for, I'm afraid. Oh, God. Then he's... He's going to... Oh, God, no. No, there was nothing even remotely like it. You went there too, didn't you? The only thing in the treatment center are those treatment pods. Quark? Quark! Oh, thank God! You're awake! Get away from me! What? Quark, what are you... <sighs> Sorry, Grandpa. I can't. I... I have to... Have to what? What are you talking about? Isn't it obvious? I have to... Escape! But... How? Like... This! Let go! Let go of me! Uh, yeah, right. On it. Me too. Stop it! Let go of me, you jerks! Oh, right. Damn you! Bastards! Why won't you let me go? I have to get out of this body! They can't lock away the soul! Once my body's gone, my soul can escape! Please! You have to let me go! Let me go! I'm trapped here! Let me die! I have to die! Kill me! Somebody! Anybody! Kill me! Kill me! Kill me! Luna. Yes? Are there any tranquilizers in here? No. Well, I mean... What? They're Soparil Beta. Soparil? That's the anesthetic. The one that's in our bracelets. Good. Perfect. Hit him with some of that. What? He'll be fine. It's just an anesthetic, Tenmyoji. It won't hurt him, I promise. But... Just hurry up and do it! Come on, Luna! Okay. Let me just... Okay, I've got it. Good. Wait until he's... Now! Do it now! Right. No! Stop!
<sighs> Respiration, blood pressure, brain waves, everything's normal. According to these readings, he's in a very deep sleep. Yes. What about the anesthetic? How long will it last? He shouldn't wake up for a few hours. Man, he sure was strong for such a little guy. I think that might be the virus's fault. It probably attacks the part of the brain that governs reason. Without anything to hold it back, his body was using every ounce of strength it had. Yeah? How do you know? Huh? Oh, well, um... How much do you know about this Radical Six? Oh, not much. I probably know about as much as you do. All I've seen about it is that newspaper article. Why would I lie about that? I've seen other viruses do the same thing. I was just making a guess. So when Quark tried to kill himself, are you saying that was because of Radical Six, too? Yes. At least, I think so. Uh, what are you doing? We're all going to die. Huh? We're all dead already. Only terrorists would resort to biological warfare. But they will. Soon. Uh, hey, what the hell are you talking about? You don't understand? All of humanity is going to die. The virus will spread. Adults. Children. Everyone. Everyone! There won't be anyone left! I... I'd rather die here! He lost her. Well, let's split up and look. Quickly, she can't have gotten too far. Right. Look, if you find her, it's probably best not to shout or anything. Just do your best not to provoke her. Understood? Ten Mioji, I think you should stay here with Quark. The rest of us can look for Alice. Sound good? <sighs> yeah. I stay here. Got it. All right, let's move, people. Get going.
Oh, there you are. Good. I'm glad you showed up. I just got here a minute ago. She was like this when I found her. When you showed up, I was getting ready to carry her to the infirmary. Yeah. Her breathing and pulse seem normal. She doesn't appear to have any obvious external wounds. Looks like it. Doesn't look like she has it. I figure she probably dropped it on the way here. Anyway, we need to get her to the infirmary. Give me a hand here. All right, please pay attention, everyone. You need to hear this. The Atom has finished scanning Alice. What did it say? Her results are identical to Quark's. She has also been infected with Radical Six. Oh, no. No! What's going to happen to her? Well, like I said before, there's only one way to cure Radical Six. There's a special antiviral treatment. Do you know what immunoglobulin is? Immunoglobulin? It's another name for antibodies. Some people have antibodies that can fight off Radical Six. Those antibodies are the basis for Excelivir. Right. I thought of that too, so I went and took a closer look at them. Unfortunately... Correct. They can suppress the symptoms for a while, but they can't kill the virus itself. The only way we can help Alice and Quark is if we can find some Excelivir. But the pods will keep them from getting any worse, right? Yes. Well, then what are we waiting for? One of you, grab Alice. We're going to the treatment center. What? Well, what is it? Excelivir! You found it, Sigma! That's the one thing that can cure Radical Six! Uh... Why did Quark have it? Perhaps he found it earlier. We explored the laboratory. It was on the other side of the red door. I happened to notice Quark putting something in his pocket. Whether or not that was his intention is unclear. I did not have the opportunity to ask, as he collapsed immediately afterwards. It didn't feel appropriate to go digging around in his pockets for it after that. And to be honest, it had also slipped my mind. We were rather preoccupied with getting him to the infirmary as quickly as possible. Who cares about the details? We have it. Hurry up and give it to him, Luna. Hey, hold on a minute. What about Alice? Does it really matter if she goes first or not? Um, I'm sorry, but I don't think we can do that. What? There's only enough here for one person. The only way we have to administer this is with the injection gun. And the way it functions... It uses a whole bottle each time you pull the trigger. 
In other words, we can't split the dose in two or something. Right. Nothing. That one bottle was it. No. Unfortunately not. No. Oh, God. Just enough medicine for one dose. Only one person can be saved. Who should we give it to? Alice? Or Quark? Then what are we going to do? How? what immunoglobulin is? It's another name for antibodies. Some people have antibodies that can fight off Radical Six. Replicator makes it sound like it makes copies of stuff. Yeah. Probably copies IG, whatever that is. Who knows? Ice cream by the gallon? Uh, what? Hold on a moment. There is a strange device in the laboratory that says IG Replicator on it. Clover and I examined it thoroughly when we were in that room. Yeah. We never could figure out what it did, though. Exactly. My question is, how do you know about it, Sigma? When was that? Probably when you were looking for Alice, right? If what he's saying is true, then we should be able to duplicate the Excelivir. That would mean we could cure Alice and Quark. Hmm. Let's go have a look then. The laboratory, right? Yeah. No time to waste. Oh, of course. I'd be happy to.
So this is the lab, huh? Yes. Where's this IG replicator thing? So this can copy the Accelivere? What are we waiting for? Skip it. Just press the damn thing. Have a look. The empty vial has something in it now. And the vial Sigma used remains as it was. It does not seem to have lost any of its contents. So, it worked? Would have been pretty bad if it hadn't. What happened? You dropped one of them? What in the hell? What if you'd broken it, you idiot? Uh, guys? You see? It did break! No, the vial's fine. See? Then what the heck is going on down there? Take a look. Whoa, really? That makes two then. Guess Kay was right after all. So there were more bombs. So it would seem. Was this here when you guys came through the first time? No, it was not. Yeah, I didn't see anything, and I looked real hard. Then somebody must have said it while we were looking for Alice. Who the hell would do that? No, not any of us. I was back in the infirmary. Quark was still out, so I was keeping an eye on him. So we shouldn't consider you a suspect. Is that right? Yeah. Quark's off the list, too. But Tenmyoji, you have no proof that you spent the entire time in the infirmary, do you? What? You could have quietly made your way to the laboratory, planted the bomb... That's insane! Listen to yourself! There's no way in hell I'd have left Quark all by himself to go plant a goddamn bomb! Hey, what's this thing? It looks like a... memory card. Where was it? Um, right under the bomb. It was down on the floor under the table. Could it have been put here by the same person who set the bomb? There was nothing like it here when we examined this room. <laughs> huh? 
Unless it was left here intentionally, yes, I imagine so. But what do you think's on it? Yeah, I guess so. So what do we do? Ten minutes remain until Ambidex game polling closes. All players, please enter your votes. If no vote is recorded before the deadline has passed, any non-voting parties will automatically ally. Uh, guys, I think maybe we should get back to the top floor. Yeah, you're right. We've got what we came here for. Um... What should we do about the, uh, bomb? Not much we can do except leave it here. Alice said it'd be dangerous to touch them. True, but... Drop it. We can talk about the bombs later. Right now we need to take care of Alice and Quark. Right! This ought to do it. It might take a little while, but they should recover. Are they really going to be all right? Yes. The analysis I did on the vials confirmed that the duplicate was real Excelivir. The original was genuine too, of course. Now that they've been treated... It's only a matter of time before the virus is eliminated. I believe so, yes. Oh man, what a relief. I was really worried. Five minutes remain until Ambidex game polling closes. All right, everybody. We can be relieved later. Right now we need to get to the AB rooms and fast. Damn. Don't even have time to catch our breath. Ah, oh, he stayed back in the infirmary. Why? Well, when we were all heading out, I noticed he wasn't doing anything. So I asked him if he was coming with us. And this is what I got. <sighs> I'm still worried about Quark and Alice. I think I'll stick around and make sure they're okay. I see. That means that Fi's only opponent will be Dio. Ugh. That's cool. Nothing to worry about. I plan to choose Ally. You know why? 
because I've only got one BP. Exactly. If you chose Ally and I betrayed you, your BP would drop below zero and... Well, we know what happens then. I want to win, but I'm not that desperate. You see what I'm saying, right? <laughs> Tenmyoji and Dio are a pair. Tenmyoji only had one BP left. Since Dio said he's going to pick an ally, Fi can't really pick anything else. If she does, Tenmyoji will... um... Yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> Kay and I are going to be going one-on-one -on -one too, right? Since Quark's still sleeping... That is correct. I've got six. As do I. If one of them can get the other to ally and then betray that person, the betrayer will have nine points. Look, Kay, I know you don't really have any reason to trust me, but... I know. You would like us both to vote ally, yes? I yeah. I agree. If we were to both betray, then we would gain no points. We would lose nothing either, but that's hardly relevant. If both of us cooperate, then we will both gain two points, which is much more beneficial. Right. Okay, good. You're really gonna do it, right? Yes. Promise? Promise. One minute remains until Ambidex game polling closes. Shit, this is bad. We need to move, now! Indeed. Shall we? Sounds good. Thirty seconds remain until Ambidex game polling closes. Um, it's probably a little late to say this, but... You know Alice is still in the infirmary. So... Yes. Ten seconds remain until Ambidex game polling closes. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. 